And now, a Goofus video that has absolutely nothing to do with lumberjacks or days. You know, recently, I really haven't felt like myself at all. I'm not quite sure what it is. It might be second semester blues. It also might be because I have a backpack that just doesn't quite fit. It also might be the fact that it's so cold outside that I have to rinse my eyes under warm water just to throw them out about two times a day. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Warm water on the eyeballs. But whatever the reason, I, I've ended up being really irritable and I've just been generally mad about stuff. Oh, excuse me. Yep. If I had to sum up my mood in one word, it probably have to be really ticked off. Not about big things, just about, you know, dumb stuff that people say. Hey Goofus, nice purse. I think this is a backpack and not a purse, and you know it full west. Whatever, Goofus. I think coming! Spell my lips! It is a backpack! What? But you know, it hasn't just been dumb stuff that people have said that have gotten me ticked off. It's just people being immature in general. Hey, Goofus! Yep! Oh! You know, that really ticks me off. I spent some time thinking about it, and I concluded that my anger is a problem that needs to be addressed. So I decided to go up and have a little chat with Dr. Vaughn. Excuse me, do you think maybe you'd mind not wiping your nose and then wiping it on the doorknob? You know, some of us have to be a little bit more intimate with doorknobs than others of us. I'm, I'm here to see Dr. Vaughn, is that fine? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. What does he think this is? This whole building some big Kleenex for him to just wipe his nose on? Just come on in. Come on in. Hey. Come on in. How are you doing? Goofus, good to see you. Uh, it's Goofus with a G, thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, just sit down. Okay, just, just right, sit down. right here. Right. That would be just terrific. Hey, this is great. You're here for. Are you here for counseling? Uh, yeah, I'm here to get counseled a little bit. Okay. Usually, the first question I ask is, what's bothering you most right now? Well, Dr. Vaughn. Recently, I just really haven't felt like myself. I mean, I've been really angry and for a lot of little dumb things, you know. I've just been real mad at people for stuff and I'm just generally angry and ticked off. Do you, do you vent on people? Do you express this? Do you yell at people? Do I yell? Well... Keep flying, speed, sound. Show you... Excuse me, does anybody have any... No, we do not have any cans, nor do we have any bottles. But you know what, Mr. Falzone, if we did, I think we'd take them warm on ourselves well, and get the 10 cents per. Well, excuse me. Thanks anyhow. Yeah. Good night. Not really. Not much, no. Doofus here? Uh, Doofus! You know what, Mr. Falzone? What? Doofus is not here, but Goofus is. It's Goofus with a G. What? Thanks. What do you mean, Goofus? I thought it was Doofus. No, it's Goofus with a G. Thanks, Mr. Lowzone. You can get it right. Well, why do you keep calling yourself Doofus? You know what, Falzone? Put a sock in it. Well, yeah? Yeah! But not me, because I don't want to be inside your mouth. Well, should check this for size. What? Well, there's your sock. That, that is a great athletic maneuver, Mr. Falzone. Can you please do it again? No, I want you to see my sock. Yeah, try, try to get me one more time. Try one more time. Oh, yeah, actually, you kicked me in the face that time. That was pretty good. Ow! Ouch! Ow! Will you cut it out? Will you, will you not your headphones. That's it. That you know what? What? Critical strike. 
<laughs> yeah, you didn't even block it once. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, good try. <laughs> I'm fast as a lion, quick as a sheep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we're going to have to approach this and really find what your real root problem is, Doofus. Yep, my root problem. That's what I want to know. Could you tell me, how's your love life doing? Well, you know, honestly, I don't think it's, it's doing that good, really. Amy Brumball seems to be doing other things nowadays, and, well, you know, I, I don't even think that there's a ship on the horizon. You know, I, I don't even think there's a speck that might be a ship on the horizon. I, I don't even think there's a net that might be a speck that might be a ship on the horizon. And sometimes, really, I even wonder if there's an ocean at all. So to answer your question, bad to very bad. Are, are you sure that there's not something deeper to your anger than all that we've talked about? Well, you know, actually, I think there is, but... I don't know, Dr. Vaughn, I just don't know if you can relate to this very well, but sometimes it's hard to be a sock in this good big world. It's, it's just difficult. I mean, have you ever been doing your laundry and you're waiting for it to get done and some guy walks in and grabs you and, and puts you in his hamper because he thinks that you're one of his socks? No, I haven't. Or maybe, maybe perhaps have you ever been uh, just taking a nap on a couch and someone comes up and sits on you and you spend the next two hours in suffocating darkness and they don't even know you're there because you're just a little shock? I can't, I can't imagine such hurt. Yeah, I didn't think you would be able to. You know, Dr. Vaughn, <laughs> really I feel like sometimes no one understands me. Sometimes I feel like maybe if I were a bigger piece of clothes, like a whole shirt or maybe a, a hoodie, or something bigger. Maybe people would respect me, but <coughs> not just a little sock, not just a plain old, everyday little white sock Here. like me. Oh, th Here. Here. thanks. <laughs> you got a lot going for you. Who else has two huge bloodshot eyes? You got that beautiful black hair and that, that nice yeah. little red mustache. Oh yeah, you really think so? You know, there's not a whole lot of guys that can do that. Oh, I feel a lot better. Thanks, Dr. Vaughn. Goofus, come here. Come here. Oh, thanks. Uh, here, oh, here. thanks so much, Dr. Vaughn. Oh. You know what? I, I really feel like you understand me and you appreciate me a lot. You're welcome. You know, thanks so much for this. Goofus, remember, it's not the size of the foot and the sock. It's the size of the heart and the foot. Oh, how true that is, Dr. Vaughn. How true that is. I'm going to write that down. Yes. I thank you so much for this today. I'm going to go out and, you know, I don't think anger is going to be a problem anymore. Thank you. Yes. And it wasn't a problem anymore. Ever since I talked to Dr. Vaughn, I've been so excited and happy about everything that it's been great. I just have to tell someone. Miss Shook, guess what? I'm not kicked off anymore. Miss Shook, I have something important to tell you. Guess what? I talked to Dr. Vaughn and I got counseling, and I'm not mad at anything anymore. Miss Shook, you little meister.